Hi, it's Dwyer. RichardDwyer.com, KeepingItFree.Blogspot.com, and because it's relevant to this video, GamblersAdvisory.com. Today is September the 23rd, 2019. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now it's very rare as I research crimes here online or do research for sporting events to figure out the odds and what's appropriate. It's very rare for me to come across a smoking gun. A piece of evidence right there in broad daylight that if true incriminates the accused if true leaves really no doubt as to whether or not the accused did the wrongful conduct on which the charges are based now you have exactly that situation regarding Brittany Taylor's allegations of sexual assault against Antonio Brown. I was just doing some research trying to figure out if Brown was going to be picked up by another NFL team. Right, My motives weren't even related to my criminal law site here online, to my criminal law YouTube page. Rather, I was literally just trying to figure out NFL futures, figure out if Brown would be available for any of the teams that were supposedly pursuing him. So I read the Brittany Taylor complaint, right? I wasn't expecting what I discovered. Now, I've thought long and hard here about putting a link to the complaint in the description for this video and decided against it because of the very adult nature of the content. But I want to be clear here. The complaint, and it's a civil complaint, contains two texts that are alleged to be from Antonio Brown to the plaintiff, right? If these two texts, in my opinion, right, and I'm choosing my words carefully here, if these two texts were sent by Antonio Brown, then Miss Taylor has a very strong case that I believe will prevail in court very strong case. Understand too, when we talk about texts, right, there should be phone records. Some carriers actually will keep a notation that a text was sent at a particular date and time. Right? If the phone records match up with these texts, if I were a juror in the civil case brought against Antonio Brown, and if Brown admitted to sending these texts, then in my opinion, the plaintiff would have met her burden of proof. The situation is so serious, folks, that I don't see how the NFL has a choice in whether to suspend Antonio Brown. Serious allegations, text messages that, quite frankly, incriminate him. Understand, too, the complaint chronicles multiple situations. Right? Multiple situations. I'm astonished. 
This is not what I was expecting. Let me encourage anyone who wants to look further into the case, anyone with an interest, quite frankly, in fighting sexual assault. Anyone interested in just holding people accountable for behavior like this. Even someone just studying celebrity, what people get away with, how people present themselves when they are alleged to have committed terrible acts. I would encourage anyone who falls into any group like that to read Brittany Taylor's complaint. I was reading the complaint. I knew a little bit about the case. Then suddenly there were these two texts that are part of the complaint. And as I read through the text, I was completely astonished. I don't know what to say, but let's just say I'll be surprised if Antonio Brown isn't banned from the National Football League for a lengthy period of time. I was a bit puzzled as to why the New England Patriots quickly released him. After I read this complaint, I realized that they did the only thing that they could do under the circumstances. I'm also a little bit amazed. Um, Antonio Brown is represented by Drew Rosenhaus, very well-known, um, reputable agent. He's represented a lot of guys. He stood by a lot of athletes in the past. He seems to be someone of uh, very high credibility. But I have to tell you that reading this complaint, I have no idea how Rosenhaus could read this complaint. Look at these two texts and continue to represent his client in seeking immediate employment from another NFL team. Rosenhaus spoke with Adam Schechter, a well-known NFL reporter, and told him the teams wanted to know about the legal proceeding brought against Antonio Brown. Let me point out, too, that Brittany Taylor is not the only person accusing Antonio Brown of terrible conduct. There is another woman out there. I just don't know enough about her case to comment on it in this interview, right in this video. But let me just say, if the texts that are presented in Brittany Taylor's civil complaint came from Antonio Brown. In my opinion, he loses that lawsuit. He's going to be facing significant liability, both to Miss Taylor and to his employer. Quite frankly, in my opinion, he's lucky that criminal charges haven't been brought against him. If you want to comment on this case, I hope you do so in the comment section of this video, right? The entire tone, the entire way the media is handling this situation is baffling to me, right? It, the public reaction seems to be muted here. I get the feeling there are many people out there like I was a few hours ago who have not read Miss Taylor's complaint. Right? Once you read the complaint, things become clear. Let me applaud the New England Patriots for ending their relationship with Antonio Brown. Someone needs to sit down with Antonio Brown. I get the feeling 
And I'm not a medical doctor, but I get the feeling there might be some psychological problems there. Right? There might be mental health concerns that we don't fully appreciate at this moment in time. But someone needs to sit down with this young man and explain to him why he's facing significant legal liability. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.